So you were saying you didn't see a weapon in Mr. Cermak's hand? I didn't. How about a sharp instrument of some sort? I was across the room, couldn't see. And what were you doing at that time? Talking to somebody. And that somebody was? I'd rather not say. Of course not. You know, Ray, you can give us a little information without compromising your integrity. Jay was Ray before the surgery. Yeah. Look, Jay. A young man has been very seriously injured. How do you think his parents must feel? How do you think your mother and I would feel if this sort of thing were to happen to you? If you could give me the names of anyone you may have recognized, even if they weren't fighting, it would be of help. I guess you'll be hearing about it soon enough, so I may as well tell you. Richie Rubin died this morning. According to Mr. Cermak's folks, he hadn't returned home since he left last night. If you see or you hear from him, please call us. We will. Uh, thank you, Officer Your eyes. Uh, let me walk you out. Okay, guys, we're having a great practice today. I want to keep the energy up, okay? I want you to run a three-man break. Let's go! Here we go, Here we go. Come on, make it happen! Get dropping. Yeah, Todd Parker. Dan Milano, how you doing? How may I help you? Want to play some ball, coach? What year are you? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. Excellent. You know you're going to have to take an exam to get in? Who can I talk to about that? You need to contact the admissions office. I'll give you the number. Do you have any starters or any recruits coming in? Well, I got a few returnees from last year, but none of them were starters. And most of my team's made up of freshmen and sophomores. Uh, I don't have any recruits this year. Okay. Pleasure meeting you, Coach. I'll get in contact with you soon, all right? I'll look forward to it. You have a good one, all right? You do the same. Thanks a lot, Coach. Okay, guys, listen up. Beginning Monday, we're going to start our review of the Vietnam War. So you know what that means. We're going to have a little bit of homework this weekend. Now, it's nothing bad. What I need you guys to do in your books in Chapter 12, I need you to read pages 1 to 12. And that's going to give you uh, an overview of the causes of the Vietnam War. And don't forget, next Wednesday, we have our quiz on World War II. And next Friday, your papers on World War II will be due as well. Everyone just settle down a second. Okay, now remember, I don't take any late papers. You guys have a good, safe weekend. I look forward to seeing everyone on Monday. Class dismissed. Coach, can I uh, talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure, Dan. What's on your mind? Well, first of all, Coach, you know, I want to thank you for giving me the chance to play here. It's been a hell of a lot of fun this season. Well, you know, Dan, it's been a pleasure having you on the team. Let me guess. You're here to talk about your future, right? <laughs> How'd you know that? Well, it just seems funny. You know, you're the top scorer in the Valley. Yet it doesn't seem like any college has taken notice. Right. Why is that, Coach? Well, part of the problem, Dan, is that this is a 5A school, and a lot of the recruiters don't look at players from these smaller areas. And although I definitely think you're the best player in the Valley and, and one of the top five in the county, and uh, believe me, I I'd love to have you back next year, but I think you should look at all your opportunities. So you think I should probably transfer? Well, that would be my advice. I think in a larger program, you'd have a lot better opportunity with some patience, some practice, and some hard work, you're going to be a pro someday. You know, Coach, that really means a lot to me. Well, good. Now get out of here, okay? All right! Yeah! Well, what's it going to be? If 
I make the shot, coach, I'll take the job. If not, I'm out. I guess I'm in. I can see you still got the touch. We know, coach, you taught me well. You taught me well. Thank you. You know, Dan, you're gonna make one hell of a great coach. You're honest, you're fair, you've got great instincts, and you're a team player. Well, you know, coach, I wanna make sure that what happened to me, it's not gonna to happen to somebody else. That's why I'm doing this. You know, I'm proud of you and I admire you for that. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Are you ready to roll? Let's go. So tell me something. I'm a little curious about something. Where in the world did you get all these tattoos at anyway, huh? You know, Coach, my brother was posting my boss about this a couple years ago. I went to Vegas one night, got drunk. Next day You know, uh, I'm free all week. Oh, is the kid a little bit too fast for you? Yeah, I almost had him. You know, you need to think, Reed. No, but uh, you would have to cut your hair. But you get to carry one of these. Cool, man. Can I see? Car 13, ready and waiting. Actually, she's one of our best customers. Tell her we're on the way over. Well, you're going to call your singer friend now? So long. I called over 15 minutes ago. Sorry, man. We went the other side of town. You know, I think that there's something wrong with my alarm. Would you like something to eat or drink while you're here? Sure. You got any donuts? No. No, oh, Reed. You can't go around maiming everybody. We got to do some investigation work here. Don, screw the investigation crap, okay? The only way to get info is a good, old-fashioned ass whooping, okay? Is that Mike Seister? You know this guy? Yeah, he comes in here all the time. I mean, we went on a couple of dates, but I got tired of picking up the check. Well, has he ever mentioned anything about some stolen lumber? Well, he was just in here with some young guy. They were talking about something, about something, about the job site on Hillside Drive. It was really busy, so I don't know what they were talking about. You know, uh, maybe uh, maybe we could go out sometime, you know, for, for all your help here. I don't date cops. Well, we're not cops, we're PSOs. Well, then I don't date PS whatever, unless he's available. You know, I should have told her I was an actor. So, you played James Bond and Die Another Day? I sure did. Do you know the director? Very well. Uh, oh, is this your car? Yeah, that's my Corvette, but uh, don't put any fingerprints on it, okay? As a matter of fact, don't even breathe on it. I'll just have to touch you, then. Yeah, that sounds good. You want to go for a ride? Let's roll. Hey, listen, calm down. Just calm down, all right? Reed, I want you to go around back and see if you can find a way in. I'm going to go in the front. All right, ladies, just come. What kind of a relationship can you have with him if you're in jail? Think about it. Nice. Hat. Oh, you like it, huh? Where in the hell did you get it? I got it in the now. You still have to go to court on Friday? Oh man, I forgot about that. Yeah, what case is this anyway? You know, it was a stupid cat incident. We got to the house, we heard noise. Why don't we hear the alarm? That's because it's a silent alarm. The door's open, someone's here. Should we call for backup? No, no. We don't have time for that. What if it's one of the one person? They won't take them out. Yeah, but what if they have guns? They won't take them out. Let's roll! You know, that's not the way I remember it. But it's your ass on the line. So if you say that's the way it happened, I'll back you up. 
Thanks, partner. Let's do it, come on. Where's Donna Bianco? We gotta get that elevator fixed, Sarge. Yeah, come on in. You ready to roll? Yeah, give me a minute or two. You know, Reed, there might be another shooter out there. Hey, Sarge, fancy meeting you here. Hey, guys, have a seat. Wow, you even worked on your lunch? We gotta catch the paintball sniper. He just put out some nine-year-old eye. Do you guys have any leads? Well, we had a lead on a warehouse in Chatsworth. By the time we got there, the place was all cleaned out. I know that guy at the paintball park tipped him off. No, we should go back there. Forget it, Reed. We don't need another lawsuit. So you guys ready to order? Uh, yeah, I uh, think we're ready. Why don't you uh, get me a uh, guacamole grande burrito and uh, an iced tea with that, please? Oh, uh, hey, Sarge, is this a, a company lunch? Sure. Okay, in that case, I'll have three nachos, a uh, chimichanga, uh, a burrito. Uh, Anything to drink? Uh, how about a large strawberry shebang? Wait a minute, Reed. Take a look at this. Two perfectly good donuts, and they're hard as a rock. Put that thing away. I'll take care of this. Call for backup? Oh, forget about backup. It's the Sanchelis. <sighs> Let's roll. Don't go for backup. Don't go for backup. Now look at it, Don. Think, Reed. Think. If you hadn't walked into this, we'd be okay. And if you waited for backup, they'd be in custody right now, okay? Let me tell you something, Reed. There is no backup. You understand? Well, how are we getting out of this? I got a plan, okay? There's a knife in my back pocket. See if you can get it. <laughs> Reed, not there. there. Bachelor number two, Mark Norris. This man is a real man. At 42 years old, this truck driving Aquarius from Baltimore, Maryland, believes marriage is great and has two daughters from his first one to prove it. He speaks three languages and enjoys the chase. He's Mark Norris. I think that femininity is the uh, biggest thing. You know, just watching a woman be a woman. More neck out I, and pout the cheeks. Now I need you to puff your lips, kind of like this. You know, more arch. No, 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 less arch. Perfect. Just hold that great. You're doing fantastic there. I need to see a little bit more danger in the eyes, okay? Now clench that jaw. That's it. Perfect. Hold that right there. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. It's looking beautiful. I can't wait for you to see it. Can you have a seat right over here? Got a little bit bigger head. Are you a good listener? You think I'm an ass? Yourself. Well, I like to laugh, especially at myself. So I promise you I'll keep you laughing and keep you smiling. Plus, I'm an adventurer. I like the outdoors. I like animals. So life with me would never be boring. Plus, I'm very romantic and very passionate. And that would be a lot of fun. He knows himself very well, doesn't he? He does. He does. Definitely. Yeah. Plus, I have a little... I'm going to have to go with bachelor number one, Mark. So what was it about Mark? Well, he's just such a sweet guy, and I just think he's nice, and 
He's got a present for me. All of America watched as I picked my dream date on live TV. Because he's just so damn sweet. And he looks like Burt Reynolds. Well, I just wanted to come on and I wanted to be myself. And uh, I think she liked it. And I think we, yes, have, uh, we have good chemistry. Hey, man. A fancy restaurant and fancy wine. Hi. Hey, how you doing? That's all right. So, well, you look where's beautiful. your car or truck? Oh, it's right down here. Are you for real? <laughs> of course. Do, do I look like I'm joking here? He brought an 18-wheeler to take me out on a date. An 18-wheeler. We're going to go to Laughlin, okay? We can have a nice dinner. and then We're going gonna... <laughs> to have a good time. Don't worry about it. See, you're, you're thinking too much. You're completely serious. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll, I'll be right here, OK? Well, I thought Anna would like the idea of riding in a truck. But uh, after I arrived and picked her up, I could definitely see she was a little annoyed. Here I got all gussied up to be wine to dine. And now I had to change so I could go for a ride in a big rig. And where the hell is Laughlin anyway? <sighs> yeah, let me carry that for you. Watch out, because this is trying to open. What are you carrying? Uh, just Anna and Nicole. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? You have nothing in this whole trailer? You got a bill of laden at least? <laughs> what the f is going on? I got it straightened out. Man, you got me a little nervous there. So how would you like the ride? Oh, it was very um, bumpy. The ride was pretty lousy, but once we got there, I figured I might as well make the best of it. Are you going to romance me? Of course. I made it. Woo! Woo! Well, the day was going extremely well. Champagne was flowing. And we were having a really great conversation. Boy, I might even throw you in the tub. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I got a really cool outfit tomorrow, too. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Get some rest. Okay. We'll have a good day tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. This date work out. Mark is a really sweet guy, and he sure was trying to impress me. The next morning, I put on my Western gear. I brought Anna a really nice breakfast. Windy. Started riding around the corral, you know, with the other gentlemen. If I were out on a date with someone, even if I wasn't all that attracted to him, I would give them a tremendous amount of, of attention. I didn't want to take that away from her. She was doing something that she enjoyed. Riding horses, I think, is one of her real passions. I feel like I have an understanding of her, of her personality. Uh, but that doesn't always mean that you're going to hit it off. Love is strange. You know, you can't force it. You can't buy it. It's either there or it's not.